Hey guys, oh, welcome back to my channel where we talk about fashion, lifestyle, and skincare. Today we're going to be talking about skincare and specifically the skin on your scalp, which could be impacting your hair health, which is what happened with me. You might notice that my location's a little bit different, which is another reason this video was provoked because the place I'm at right now, it does have a lot of hard water. And let's first talk about what hard water is. So hard water is basically the water that comes out of your shower head and your pipes that contains more than usual um, mineral deposits. So the minerals we're talking about here are calcium, magnesium, and even sulfates. And the reason why this can be problematic on your skin as well as your hair is because it can lead to dryness. And the way this happens specifically for hair is because when you use hard water to wash your hair, what it does is it kind of creates a film or a buildup in your hair and this leads to moisture loss and it's hard for moisture to stay retained in your hair which is what causes frizziness as well as dryness and for me i specifically noticed this um on my own hair when i was using hard water because what would happen is my hair would feel drier to the touch it would take longer to dry as well and it was drying in a weird way in, the, in a way where it felt rough even while it was drying which is something i was not used to and i knew it couldn't be my products because i hadn't changed my products i knew it couldn't be my diet because again my diet was untouched which is what made me look into the hard water possibility and it turns out yes it is hard water and that's why my hair and my skin was behaving the way it was hard water can dry out your skin can dry out your hair and the problem with hard water and using it consistently to wash your hair is it could eventually lead to hair loss which is another thing i was noticing my hair was falling out more than usual and again i knew it couldn't be product or diet because that was unchanged the only thing it could be was maybe my hormones or hard water having hard water in your shower and using it regularly in your skin and hair uh, does actually diminish the health and the quality of your hair as well as skin so there are options that you have if you are someone who has hard water in your pipes and just in the region you live in there are possible solutions that you can um, implement in your daily routine to kind of mitigate the risk of quality loss from your skin as well as hair and because we're going to be talking about hair today i'm going to be talking about specific things i've done to combat the hard water in the area that i'm at right now and how that's impacted my hair quality as well as my hair health and also my hair loss because less and less hair is falling out the more i implement these tactics so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing i'm going to recommend you guys look into is a shower head that sounds the water so that's something that i had to install and basically what it is it's like a shower filter that softens the water before it hits your head and your skin and how it does that is because it has carbon that kind of filters out the minerals so your skin and hair hair aren't impacted by it because the shower head catches it and this softens the water so when the water finally reaches your scalp and your skin it's a softer water that's not going to dry your skin cause irritation or cause hair thinning or hair loss down the line so that is probably the biggest tip that i would recommend you look into because this will impact your daily shower routine and will also improve your skin health especially in the winter time the next thing i'm going to recommend is hair masks and hair conditioning masks this is something i basically kind of trial and errored with before i invested in a water softener shower head so i think the biggest tip again like i said i'm going to repeat is invest in a shower head that softens the water because that's going to make the biggest difference along with that supplement it with hair conditioning masks which is what i was doing prior to installing the shower head so i have tried a few hair masks and i've kind of seen what how it impacts my hair i have a few recommendations for you guys if you are on the market for it so the first hair mask i'm going to be talking about is this macadamia deep repair mask this is the first hair mask i actually tried when i noticed my hair was rougher to the touch my hair loss was greater and i kind of chalked it up to maybe it was the hard water but no matter how much i shampooed or conditioned my hair texture all of a sudden felt very rough so I invested in this deep repair mask um, by Macadamia Natural Oil and how this works is basically once you've shampooed your hair, you put it in your hair and you leave it in for 
five to ten minutes and you so you can you know wash your face wash your body do whatever you need to do while that's in your hair and then you wash it out when i tell you guys that the results were instant my hair was drying quicker and when it was drying it felt softer which was another big thing that was a contrast with the hard water that my hair would dry rougher but with using the mask what it did was soften my hair when it was drying and when it dried completely my hair felt silky smooth another hair mask i'm going to recommend is by subaki this is a japanese brand it is um under shiseido and this i can only find online i haven't been able to find it in stores it is i'll insert a picture somewhere in the video but it is kind of a larger jar and when i tell you when you guys use this and you don't have to leave it in for five to ten minutes you could leave it in for like one minute two minutes it's kind of up to your discretion when i tell you the results again instant as soon as you wash it your hair will dry so soft and so silky smooth i can't even explain it, it just feels like your ha your hand will just glide through your hair that's how beautifully it softens the hair the hair mask i'm going to be talking about is by living proof and why living proof is kind of different than the previous two i mentioned again i'll insert a picture of the specific one i'm talking about why living proof is different from the other hair conditioning masks the two that i referenced prior why it's different is because this one doesn't have silicones so here's the other thing you kind of have to find a balance if you aren't going to replace the shower head but you just want to use hair masks or deep conditioning masks in the shower um you have to find a balance in terms of how frequently you can use it and how like frequently your hair can truly take it because most of these hair masks have a lot of silicone in them and what silicone can do is eventually cause hair breakage and hair fragility so in order to prevent this you obviously can't be using it every single time you shower but it's a catch-22 because when you're showering with hard water you do kind of need to use it so you do find the frequency that works for you but why the living proof uh, hair mask is a standout is it's silicone free so you can actually use it every single time you shower you can use it regularly and living proof it is they are backed up by science so you know you're getting quality ingredients in that product and your hair is gonna feel silky smooth and so soft to the touch again w when you use this living proof deep conditioning mask so to refresh there's two main things you can kind of do to supplement hard water um, in terms of health of your hair the first one is installing a shower head that softens the water and this will also improve the quality like the health of your skin not the quality the health of your skin um your body skin as well as scalp and hair and the second tip i have for you guys is deep conditioning hair masks and i've given you three options that i've tried they're tested and true the first two the macadamia hair mask and the second one um the subaki which is uh, sister company of Shiseido um, those two do have silicones in it so that's something to be mindful of but the third one is foolproof it's living proof and it has no silicones in it so you can use it as frequently and regularly as you desire tip I have for you guys if you do want to add more steps and this is not something I do frequently which is why I'm just gonna add it as a last like point to tag along and that is to use clarifying shampoos and what clarifying shampoos will do is basically just clean up all the buildup from your hair and again this is important if you have hard water in your region because what it does with the mineral deposits is it does create a buildup in your hair and it creates a film so a clarifying shampoo would be a good bet for you to kind of remove all the buildup and have like a clean slate you're working with when you do shampoo and apply your conditioner and your masks but there you go guys those are the three tips the biggest one again i'm gonna echo i'm gonna be a broken record here the biggest one i have is invest in a shower head that's gonna soften the water because it will just improve the quality of your showers and it will help the health of your skin as well as hair and the second tip is to invest in some deep conditioning hair masks that you can use in the shower because they will help in softening the hair and just restoring the feeling of softness back in your hair and the third tip I have is to use a clarifying shampoo which will help in getting rid of all the buildup you have on your scalp as a result of using the hard water. But again, if you follow step one, which is invest in a water softener slash shower head, you could possibly get away with not doing the other two steps, which is why I keep repeating that 
tip but I understand that sometimes it is a lot to kind of replace your shower and all that stuff so in the meantime maybe try out these hair masks and try out a clarifying shampoo and let me know what you think if you try any of the hair masks that I'm recommending let me know what you think once you try them and if you have any other tips please leave them in the comments below but I hope this video was helpful and provided some value let me know and thank you guys for watching with me and give the video a thumbs up subscribe we post a video every Sunday about fashion, skincare, and lifestyle. Take care, guys. Bye.